Are the Auburn faithful, from what you've gathered, are they pretty much dismissing 2021 as Brian Harson's honeymoon? You know, we, we didn't uh, enjoy the losses and the five consecutive L's at the conclusion of the season, but we, we understand it's a transition time and they're, and they're okay with, with where they stand, or is he already kind of feeling some heat? I, I think there may be a little bit of heat. Um, I don't know how much hope they've got right now is the problem. I mean, to end the season with five straight losses, I mean, they brought Zach Calzada on – uh, from A&M, um, and, and Mark, this is one of the real problems with Auburn they've had over the years. Auburn makes decisions that are that are too often based on uh, how Alabama is involved. Uh, they're bringing Calzado on, hoping he'll recreate the magic that he did against Alabama. But, but let's be honest, Calzado is a serviceable quarterback, and I'm sure he learned um, uh, some good things from Jimbo Fisher but before and after the Alabama game, Calzada was frankly a little more than the average quarterback. Uh, is is the reality to that? Um, so uh, what they do uh, at quarterback, I think, is going to be also fascinating uh, during this time too. Um, the the the, the, um, uh, the the biggest thing that happened to them was Tank Bigsby coming back uh, I, for whatever reason. They just refuse to run their offense through uh, uh, Tank Bigsby. Uh, I mean, the, the the microcosm of their season was in the bowl game against Houston. They're down 17-13. Bigsby runs for eight yards on first down. They've got second two, third and two, fourth and two, and they and and for whatever reason, throw three straight incompletions. So. Um, I, I, Auburn fans were shaking their head on that one. Uh, and and more, part of the problem at Auburn, and this goes back to Gus Malzahn, is, and the Auburn beat writers will tell you this, they did not recruit offensive linemen, particularly tackles, well at all. And frankly, they didn't recruit quarterbacks very well. So uh, that, that it's going to be a – this is not going to be an easy situation for them coming back next year – and having to sit on uh, five straight losses during that time. I mean, look, they were uh, – Brian Horson was looked upon – you and I talked earlier in the year about being a SEC Coach of the Year candidate uh, right off the bat. I mean, they only lost to uh, Georgia and Penn State, and after that people thought they were about to wrap it up and, and really go. But I think after that Mississippi State debacle uh, where State just came back into in a blitzkrieg in the second half and outscored them like 40 to six or something like that, things kind of went downhill from there. So uh, I, I think what you said is a really good question. Uh, right now, they really still don't know what's going on. I still think there's some f- infighting between the old guard, the new guard that they've got to be able to deal with. And, and, I, and I give Brian Harson some credit Brian tried to make this team more physical this year and probably didn't have the athletes and the linemen in order to do it. And from what I understand, he actually stood his ground against some of the boosters that was important for him to be able to do that too. So uh, where all that goes next year will be one of the real uh, talked about mysteries of the offseason, I think. 